Well, the new event vehicle is here, and despite what everyone thought, it's uh, not very good. You'd think with an unmanned turret and fire and forget missiles would be pretty strong at 9.7, but the QN506 is really quite abysmal. And that isn't me being hyperbolic or anything. Instead of trying to describe exactly what I mean, I figured I would just show some gameplay. The issues become pretty apparent. This could be the one map that this is pretty decent on. You'd think you'd be able to use the CITV to lock them, right? No, you have to have the launcher entirely exposed to lock a vehicle. And not only that, the enemy vehicle has to be pretty much entirely exposed as well. Let's try to be smart with this. Um, it looks like uh, Bradley and XM1 and uh, Merkava over there. Let's see if I can... Uh, I get into a position where I can shoot these guys without getting shot myself. Okay, yep, that Merkava sees us and we cannot lock him because he's hold down. You love to see it. Oh my god. Okay, well, the leopard's dead, at least, after panicking and spamming at it. I really want to get over there, but I don't know if I can. Can we, like, inch over there with smoke grenades? Run. There's no way. Yep. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Such a good idea that if something isn't totally exposed, you can't shoot it. Go, my son, go. Okay, it immediately lost lock. Okay, well, maybe that missile will hit that helicopter. I don't know what it's doing. Bro? <laughs> Why did it take that flight path? I swear you're better off trying to use this as, like, some really really shitty gun emplacement. The fan on the back doesn't even spin, what's the point? I can't even distract my 8 brain by watching the fan. Oh, there is a, a 2S38. How did we kill that terms? Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I'd say that's a great success, personally. Another one. Apparently all you have to do is fight 9.7 Russian premium players because they have a collective two brain cells. This thing is so slow. Another successful operation. I will say though, that the fire and forget missiles are very satisfying when they work, which is a solid 10% of the time. Well, I think I'm gonna get shot by a drone here in a second. This is why I don't like uh, playing anything above 8.0 or so anymore. You'd think that increasing the spawn point costs of drones to uh, 750 would dissuade people from using them for dumb revenge kills, but nope. <laughs> go. Go, missile, go. I don't even know where it went. I think it crashed into a building. Bye, have a great time. Yeah, he just, uh, he, he is gone. Oh, he won. Huh. Wait, did I lose connection to the server? Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh, I can play the game now? That's very gracious of you, thank you. If I seem like I'm in a bit of a mood, it's because I am. Not only is this thing incredibly unfun to play, but I accidentally permanently deleted two videos earlier. 
and uh, recovery software could not fix it, so I'm having a real swell time. Oh, uh, you also cannot fire these on the move, in case you were curious. Yep. I don't understand it why you can't fire either of the missiles while you're moving. Like, obviously the fire and forget ones are thermal, and the uh, small ones are laser beam writing. No! Stop! Ah! I don't even know if I can get a usable video out of this. This is like the LAVAD, but worse in every facet, if that makes sense. Goodness gracious. You have no idea how many games I've had to cut out so far because I just die immediately without doing anything cool or funny or anything like that. Don't, just don't even try to get this thing. It's not worth it. I'm not exaggerating when I say this is one of the worst vehicles I've ever played. Everyone thinks they're a comedian using the, uh, laser. How is he not dead? Okay, goodness me. Yeah, everyone thinks they're a comedian lazing you when you have a laser warning system. Well, like, yeah, it gets funnier after the 50th time. What the hell? What was that missile doing? Pretty much all of my kills with this have been with the uh, cannon. If I had to guess, I think I have like uh, 35, maybe 40 kills with this so far. And about five of them are with the missiles. <laughs> Can I get a manual mode for my missiles? That would actually make this vehicle bearable. Okay, that's one. That was a bit sketchy. I think he was barely unangled enough for me to pen him. Oh. Huh? He got so lucky there. We almost killed his gunner and commander. Oh. Hello, Puma. Fighting two of the best IFVs in the game. I'm gonna do something stupid real quick. It somehow worked. Oh. That was a little overkill. Real. Even on the off chance you can somehow get the perfect conditions to launch a fire and forget missile, it just doesn't kill them. Oh my god, it finally killed something. Can we get two for two? Ow. I don't know if that fully counts because we did assist with the uh, APFSDS. I've been trying to come up with ways to describe this thing, and the best I can come up with is it is so niche, its niche does not exist. Compared to everything else around it, the only good thing it has is the missiles, but they require so many things to go perfectly right in your favor that they are essentially useless. Like, the missiles have five degrees of gun depression, so you can't use them on terrain. They can only lock targets that are fully exposed. They just randomly miss sometimes. You can't control where they go. You only get four of them. You can only use them at long range. You have the mobility of a 50s tank with armor that can be penned by a 50 cal, almost. Why does this thing exist? You compare this to a BMP-2M, the BMP-2M is infinitely better in every aspect. I swear the only situation in which this thing works is against 9.7 Russians. That's nasty, man! It didn't even hit him. It missed him. The missile missed him. Why do you have to stop to fire it? It's a fire and forget missile. 
Why do you have to stop to fire the laser beam riding missiles? I don't understand why. I can't wait for there to be someone hole down on the hill that I can't walk either. Oh, look, there he is. There is no map in which this thing works as intended. There's another QN in this lobby. I checked his stats and he's a good player, but he has a 0.5 KD in the QN. Yeah, bro, I feel it. I really feel it. Continuing the theme of uh, only getting kills on two S38s. And T-72s. Oh. I don't know where that missile is going. Why does the missile just decide to fly off in a random direction? Oh, it actually did kill it. Uh, <laughs> helicopter is having a bit of a moment. I think I can probably hit this guy. There's a gap. Yeah. <laughs> that almost hit. Ooh, right in the engine. What is shooting at this leopard, right? Uh... That's the QN506. Not only is it one of the worst event vehicles I've ever used, it is one of the worst, period. It has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Sorry for being so grumpy throughout that, it's just such a pain to use this thing. If you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.